So inside the app stream, we have three modules. One is supplier, second sourcing, another one is the contract. These three modules are available as a part of the app stream. Now, what basically customer can do with these solutions? So customer can determine their source with the help of these solutions. How they can determine? So how basically we are creating the vendor record or supplier record in the backend SAP system, like in SAP MM. So say we can create the supplier record in the SAP Ariba as well with the help of the supplier solution. And whatever the other activities, other like you know, the processes that we required as a customer, that's something we can also perform in the like, you know, with the help of the supplier solution. Now, if you go to sourcing solutions, so with the help of the sourcing solutions, we can perform different kind of negotiation activities. So whatever different kind of negotiation activities that basically we have to do, that we can do like you know, with the help of the sourcing solutions. So sourcing solutions is very popular like modules in the SAP Ariba. And you know, the customer, they are basically like you know, love this solution. So whatever different kind of negotiation activities that the customer they want to perform, they can basically perform with the help of the sourcing solution. Even in our SAP MM as well, like in the backend SAP system also, SAP has given this RFQ in uh, like functionality. We can use the RFQ process to determine our source to do the negotiation as well. But those solutions are supported by offline activities. So what is the meaning of this offline activities? So if you want to receive any of the quotation and like from the supplier, so we can basically create uh, create a RFQ. We can invite a single supplier or in case of Esperana, we can invite some multiple supplier as well, I guess. And then basically we can send it to supplier. So when the supplier will receive this particular information, they will submit the quotation. And when the quotation will come to your Ariba, so the, sorry, when the quotation will come to your SAP MM, then we have to evaluate the quotation. We have to compare the quotation and we have to select a particular supplier. But in between of that, if you want to do any communication between supplier and buyer, can we do the year? No, we cannot do, right? Or in the same solutions, if you have to con conduct any auctions as well. So any auctions, we basically, we can say live event. So for example, we can take the examples of some government bidding or we can take the examples of this IPL bidding as well. So IPL bidding basically is the very popular. So if we have to conduct, if we have to manage the IPL bidding in the backend SAP system, in SAP MM, can we do? No, it's very tough. Or even we can say we cannot, we can't do. So why we can't do? Because the, our SAP MM is not supporting online activity. SAP MM is supporting only offline activity. That means we can only do non-competitive bidding activity. And even we have the many limitations as well. So if you for a single RFQ, if you want to include 10 number of supplier, so you have to create 10 like same RFQ 10 times basically. And the same information you have to include with the different supplier. So this is the different different like you know that uh, like limitations are there in the SAP MM. And whereas in SAP Ariba, with the help of the sourcing solutions, these limitations are not there. So whatever different kind of like uh, quotation activities or event that basically you want to create, you want to perform that we can perform with the help of the sourcing. And in the next, we have the contract module. So with the help of the contract module, we can basically sign off a contract. We can create a contract in the SAP Ariba. Even if you require to have this like you know, sign off with the supplier, their sign off also we can do. So whatever e-signature tools that our customer they are using, like uh, we can say Adobe, or some other e-signature tool, that's something also we can integrate with the SAP Ariba and we can perform the e-signature activity as well. So that means overall, we can say with the help of the application, we can basically like you know, determine our source. Okay, now if you talk about other solutions, so other solutions are basically the downstream. With the help of the downstream, what we can do? So with the help of the downstream, we can basically perform our purchasing activity. So in short, I just mentioned here as a P2P, but P2P is not the right term. So the right term is Ariba buying and invoicing. So Ariba buying and invoicing is a part of this downstream solutions. And with the help of the Ariba buying and invoicing, customer can perform their P2P activity. They can create purchase deck, they can convert in the purchase order, they can perform the receipt, they can do the invoicing, they can make the payment as well. 
So usually payment happenings in the backend SAP system in most of the cases, just only for your information purpose. But those activity we can perform with the help of this downstream solutions or we can say with the help of the Arima buying and investing solutions. Okay. Now in the last basically we have the catalog. So for the catalog, uh, usually like uh, we can say in simple word. So what is basically catalog? So catalog is we can say a kind of product hierarchy. For example, uh, whenever we are doing any purchasing on the e-commerce side, like you are using Amazon, Flipkart, eBay, Alibaba, whatever different e-commerce site or their services is available in your location. So sometimes we are doing the purchasing online. So whenever we have to do any purchase online, so what basically we are doing, we have to open that particular application. Once you open that particular application, then we have to search the particular product. Like let's say you have to purchase that laptop. What you will do, you will search, you will type the laptop there and you will click on the search. So once you click on the search for the laptop, then system that application will display you the list of the laptop item with the different different supplier. So whatever different items you can see that is basically called as the catalog. In SAP Ariba as well, we have that well, like a flexibility. If customer they want to create, they want to configure the product information in the form of the catalog, they can basically configure. So this catalog solutions are helping to customer to configure their product hierarchy in the SAP Ariba. So these are basically overall sol solutions are available in SAP Arima, and these solutions are basically called as a S2P process or S2P solution. So in short, it is called as a we can say S2P solutions. And what is basically S2P solutions? S2P solutions in the same source to pay solutions. What is source? This is basically your source solutions. And what is pay solutions? These are basically your pay solutions. So that is why, in short, it is called as a S2P solution. Okay. One last thing I want to add here. So if you see in SAP MM or in the backend SAP system, so usually we are doing the two different kind of purchasing. Yep. So one purchasing we are basically doing for the direct materials. So what is basically direct materials? We can say stock cable items. For example, raw materials, packaging items. So these are basically that like uh, we can say uh, direct materials, right? And second is second we have indirect material. So what is the indirect material? Indirect means we can say non-stockable items. So for example, hand gloves, spray, IT equipment, MRO items. These are basically non non-stockable items. So these are something called as the consumables items as well. So generally we are doing the purchasing for two different like you know items one item basically direct material and second is for the indirect material so the prop the thing is that this if you are going to perform direct material purchasing over this like you know ariba ariba platform so for that ariba has given the solutions as a downstream that means this downstream solutions is only applicable for the indirect material purchasing so if you want to perform the purchasing or like indirect material purchasing activity with the help of the SAP Ariba, you can do with the help of this downstream solution. But in some certain cases, if customer they want to perform this direct material purchasing as well with the help of the SAP Ariba. So for that, Ariba has given the different process, different solutions, and that solutions is called as the Ariba supply chain collaboration. So this Ariba supply chain collaboration is a different thing, different module itself. And this is something we have to implement if customer they want to perform this uh, direct, direct, direct material purchasing with the help of the Ariba. That means in other words, we can say if they want to perform direct material purchasing over the Ariba network, they have to go with the Ariba supply chain collaboration. All right. So this is something just high level solutions are available in the SAP Ariba. Now we'll jump into the system and we'll see, we'll try to navigate our system and we'll see whatever different options are available in the system and uh, uh, whatever things that basically we are going to see in this hour, like you no know, day-to-day session as well, that's something else we will talk. But before that, is there any question from anyone? Since the backend integration will be there now from uh, Ariba to our ECC or uh, S4 HANA, anything will be backend will be yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. I think. yes, yes, yes. In most of the cases, you will see you will have the integration with the backend SAP system.
for, for the direct materials, right, you uh, mentioned the Ariba supply chain collaboration. Is this an additional license? Yes, yes, that is the additional license. So if you are going to take this license of this like STP solutions, that is a different license. And if you are going to take the license of this uh, like uh, SEC, in short, it is called as SEC, that is the additional license. Without uh, taking no. SSC, we cannot perform direct material purchase in Riba. No, no, we cannot. Oh. Oh. Even even there is a uh, procurement right procurement uh, for the downstream right. The procurement license is already uh, like you no, know, is already part. It's not part of that. The procurement license is it, or is it on top? Uh, Audrey, I'm sorry. Can you please repeat your question again? Uh, what, what I understand, right, for the downstream, the P2P, right, the procurement or the buying, right, that is a separate license. So this SEC is sitting on top, is it? Is a separate on top of the P2P, is it? Yes, yes, yes. This is totally separate. It oh, is okay. completely different. Okay. Whatever solutions we can see here, like this, like the uh, Pistol Downstream team. So one thing I want to add here is whenever any of the customer, they want to take the license of this Ariba, so it is not mandatory, they have to like, you know, purchase entire package. It's not mandatory. Whatever solutions, whatever module license they want to take, they can take. They are totally free. And even those are the individual modules. If your customer, they want to go only with the supplier, they can go. If your customer, they want to only go with the contract, they, get, they can go. And if your customer, they want to go with the entire package, they can go. So these all these modules are separate license itself and separate box as well. So basically, by S2P, like this up team and knowledge team, this is one box, and Ariba supply chain collaboration is another box itself. Even though it has to work, like you know, the SEC will work with the conjunction of this uh, Ariba network. So whatever Ariba network that basically we have to use in case of this S2P solutions, same we have to use in this Ariba SEC as well. Okay, but from license point of view, it will incur the different license. So, so customer they have to pay additional cost to subscribe this Ariba SEC. So, uh, the 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 DSN right, the uh, digital uh, supplier network right, that is also a separate license as well. Is, is that correct? No, supplier network it depends. So supplier net network basically it depends on this like uh, you know that implement it depends on the solutions whatever you are going to implement. So what happened basically if you see from the uh, Ariba diagram, so one side you will have the buyer, right, and other side you will have the supplier. Okay, now by this buyer and supplier they are going to start their business activity over the Ariba uh, over the Ariba platform. So in case of that, they will have the platform that is called as the Ariba. Okay. Now what happened? So from bad perspective, if buyer they want to utilize, they want to use the Ariba solution, so they have to basically like you know subscribe any of this particular license, whatever module license, or if they want to purchase entire like you know that package as well, they have to purchase any of the particular like you know that or entire package. And once they package, they will purchase the entire package. They will automatically get this Ariba network credential as well. So that is basically that is called as the Ariba buyer network. So they will get the license of the Ariba buyer network, and in, along with this, like you know, this solutions as well. But from supplier side, so from supplier perspective, this license of this Ariba network is free, but not free for all. So basically, Ariba is offering the two different kind of account to supplier. One is, I would say, basic. Basic is not the right term. So, right term is a standard. But just for your understanding, I'm saying basic. So, if they are going to uh, create the account as a standard, in that case, that is basically free of cost. But in the standard account, the supplier, even though that is free of cost for supplier, but supplier will have the very limited access. So, they can only, like, you know, that uh, uh, perform some certain activities with the standard account. And even they can only process four to five purchase order with some threshold value. That's it. So they will not be able to process more than the, that threshold value. So that is basically a standard account. But in some certain cases, or in most of the cases, basically, so when supplier will start using that Ariba solutions, 
so they would like to utilize other other functionality so whatever other functionalities that is available so they want to use that option as well so in that case what will happen in that case like you know that they have to upgrade their account from the standard to that like your enterprise account and when they will go with the enterprise account that will, that will basically that will incur the cost they have to pay the license fees again so the two thing one thing here if they are going to like you know enable this enterprise account for this ariba s2 they have to be at the cost they have to pay the cost that means supplier has to pay the cost but if they are going to in like upgrade their account as an enterprise account for the ariba scc in that case buyer has to pay the cost this is buyer payable and in case of stp that is the supplier got it yeah we have to two servers actually now for uh, i will put the purchase requisition i will put the uh, purchase requisition and make purchase order then uh, we will send to the supplier the supplier will go to supplier server and he will accept the supplier and they'll send definitely again, definitely can... definitely yeah. from buyer side you will have you buyer side buyer will have their own system and supplier side buyer supplier will have their own system it will not be same that's basic servers will be there na two server one buyer server one supplier server Yes, yes, yes. So from buyer side, yeah. buyer, buyer will have their own account, buyer network, and supplier will have the supplier account. Supplier network. It will update automatically. It will sync data from one side to two side. Yes, yes, right. All right. Okay. So now let's go in the system basically. And yeah, Audrey, uh, any question from the side? No. So sorry. Just to um. I mean, coming back to the same question. So just now you mentioned, right? If let's say for buyer, so from the buyer standpoint, right? If I'm I'm expecting to send the PO right over to the Aruba network, right? Then uh, like you no, know, there's a buyer update that the shipping notice or maybe inbound into SAP, right? Mm -hmm. Or even invoice, right? From the buyer side, right? Is this like a part of the license or this is the additional license? From buyer, that no, no, that, 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 that is part of the license, not additional license. So that is part of the license under the procurement, or that is a it. So, so it, it's not a separate license, right, for the supplier network. I mean, if if just yes, to yes, expect, yeah, yeah. So supplier side, yes, that is a, that, that is a separate, like uh, you can say, like uh, additional license will come supplier side. So yes, they have to go for the additional license. So that's something we'll talk in detail level when we'll go to the sourcing solutions. That time basically we'll discuss different account of the supplier, and that time I'll show you the different uh, uh, like you know, options of the supplier and whatever like you know, part is that like you know, course of license and what is the part is that like you know, uh, free of cost.